for you. World and Olympic champions alike. And they will get underway very shortly, as will Russia against Korea. Vladislav Larin against Kyo Donin. They will be the middleweight semi-final. The under 87 kilograms, roughly about 14 and a half stone in old money. And it will, of course, be matched up by the heavyweight men there later in the programme. Mohamed Cho from Great Britain, one of the favourites in that field. And the women's middleweight grouping as well. World and Olympic champions on the field of play, ready to go. Well, who will pip who to the medal? As Team Russia gather. Representing. Well, Vladislav Larin from St. Petersburg took a bronze medal in the World Championships in 2015 in Chelyabinsk, which is, of course, in Russia, but he's now here in South Korea in Muju as he marches into the arena looking quite relaxed. Of course, the fighters fought yesterday, so they have their semi finals today. Can he go one better here? European champion in Montreux, Switzerland. The youngsters enjoying the walk-in as well. Lovely to see. Helene Kyodon of South Korea comes into this one with a very difficult lead into it. He had cancer last year, successfully operated on. And he says a renewed perspective for what it means to be able to be fit enough and strong enough to stand. But who will stand tallest in this one? Universiad gold medalist in Kwangju a couple of years ago. Asian Games champion as well, so he knows his way around the mat. There's the man from Yongin University. And Laden, well, you can look at the scoreboard for yourself there. Very few points conceded. Killed on in. Well, it was a real tough battle against Spain in that quarter final. Guillermo Antonio Rodriguez from Venezuela. We'll take charge of proceedings. If you're totally new to the sport, you'll figure it out very quickly. It's all kicking, all punching, and all action. And if you're an expert watching on, and if you're fighting tomorrow, best of luck to you. And if this, the tension wasn't enough, they have the customary delay to get the electronic protectors checked. The scoreboards are ready. The fighters most certainly are. Vladislav Larin. There's a little shifty look to the side there, just checking out his opponent. A slight height advantage favouring the Russian. In Kyodon. Stock steady. Well, it's not easy to stand and eyeball your opponent. Coaches ready for the formalities as well. Inexplicable delay. It's time to get down to business. In Kyodon, he's the man in red. Larin, of course. The Russian in blue. Puts the right foot in front, tries with the push kick there. Straight away, Larin. In Kyodon. Returns the favour. And that open stance here, which is designed to bring your opponent in with the back leg. So both men just jabbing at the moment. A couple of punches shared. The punch scores and the body shot for Inkyodon. We'll be happy with that as a start. World ranked number one, Vladislav Larin. He wants to get one on the board for sure. Inkyodon just motioning, faking, pretending to move. 
Hans not quite got his distance as yet. Good footwork and confidence from Incuodon. Good body shot attempt from Laren. Beginning to feel his way into this fight now. Timing so important. It's the crossing the road, you don't want to get it wrong. You've got to measure it out, look for the potential dangers, and then make your decision. And if you look how close their front foot is to each other, that gives you an idea of how easy it is to get your leg in there. And that headshot just whistling by, you see Laring overreaching. They stand very close, and then the quickness to get away again, like so from Incudon. Well, it's money in the bank at the moment for the Korean. Wonderful chop kick attempt. Great block from the Korean. Given the hardship that he's been through. Well, he knows what it's like to fight. And he's having to fight for it at the moment. Laren trying to motion, trying to elicit a response. And the footwork of the Korean. Masterful uh. at the moment. Well, kicking and punching is the literal definition of Taekwondo, but footwork, lesser spotted in the last Olympic cycle, is beginning to come back on vogue again. There's the punch, there's the body shot. And it's the old boxing adage, make them miss and make them pay. And paying the price at the moment. Vladislav Larin points down, but plenty of time left. one J, the Korean coach, giving out the last bit, bits of advice here. Vladimir Larin in the opposite corner. He looks very composed at the moment. On. Hometown pressure hasn't affected Team Korea so far. They've had returning lots of medals. There's the overhead shot. You can see the distance between the two. And as it shortens, as the front leg gets closer to each other, that's when the action happens. Inkyodon's footwork and timing, excellent. Likewise, the cover, they drop their arms as Laren tries to drop in a head shot, whistles by. Back line turning kick from Inkyodon, return the favour there from Laren. It's just beginning to simmer away here. There's that perspective of distance between the two. And the gap between the two is literally the ambition that they have, they want to go for it. There's the punch, that was a powerful one. Inkyodon meets Laren on the way in. He needs to be careful that he's not on the way out here, Laren, because Four points down, and maybe world number one with a more lengthy athletic resume than in Kyodon. He's just finding it a little bit difficult at the moment. Back kick attempt. Unsuccessful as we get into the last minute of the second round here. In Kyodon. Back leg turn the kick. Good shot from Laren. Likewise, the Russian covering well. There's the back kick attempt along with the back leg of the Russian. So both fighters really beginning to hit their stride now. But who can hit the protector in the last 30 seconds? There are sensor socks that they wear, and when they hit with good power and impact to the body, it scores automatically, similarly to the head. And there's a nice little shot underneath from Laren, the push kick to the body. And that will give him some crumb of comfort here as we reach the last 10 seconds of a good second round for both. Inkyodon missing there. Confidence gone for the Korean perhaps. Tries to punch again as he walks through. Scores. Well, he had the four point lead, the Korean. It's been cut to three by the efforts of this man here, Vladislav Laren. Look at it. And 
It's been the, pay, the punch that's done the damage so far for the Korean. And it's the popping sound. If you get a good bit of purchase behind it, it might not physically hurt your opponent, but it's got enough contact and impact to, dare I say, waken up the judges. But it certainly gives them something to score. And there's been three of those for In Kyodon. Very much in this contest here, Vladislav Varanin. He's going to have to get a wriggle on the Russian. He wants to get back into this one. The final prayers from Laren. Doesn't need a miracle yet, just the three. <laughs> Customary show of respect, replaced by kicking each other. Always nice. Push kick to the body there from Laren. Gets himself back into it. Inko Don on the back foot. Well, we've not seen any Gamjons yet. But we're beginning to see a fight break out here in Muju. Headshot attempt from Inko Don. This one for a spot in the World Championship final. Good chop kick attempt from Laren on the inside. Well blocked from Inko Don. With a real tough battle in the quarter final against Spain. Won it on the golden point, which is the fourth round. One extra minute. Could we be heading in that direction? In the next minute or so will tell us that story. Do you stick or twist? Do you go for it? Push kick attempt from Laren. Both of them have worked so far. Good shot on the way through from the Russian. He could on pushing. Back right turning kick. Very close there from both. And to the last minute here, Vladislav Laren, world rank number one. Looked to be down and out. He's found his way back in here. He could on. Patient as he got the precision. Misses with the push kick. Good shot from Laren. 30 seconds. Good body shot there from Laren. He's staying active. Doesn't want to take a Gamjon. There's the power punch though from Inkyo Don. Waited for it, found the space. And as clean as you like. Six apiece, 20 to go. Well, we mentioned the golden point round. Are they going to take it out of the referee's hands and go for it? Or will they run the clock down? Laren tries to go for it, steps through, leaves a space for Inkyo Don. Well blocked from Laren, body shot return from both. Into the last three seconds now. Shot from Laren underneath, almost scoring. I hate to say I told you so, but I did. Golden point time. We could on even a time to have a, a sneaky look at the scoreboard there while blocking the headshot. Both going to have to block out any thoughts of the previous round. The first point wins, one minute to do it. Well, the Russian is not very good, but this dance I can just about get. I'm sure you can too. And that's so important. Even more important, do you attack? Do you defend? Do you wait for a mistake? Inkyodon has waited for the power punch every time. Does he change his tactics? Well, we get to find out. World Championship final at stake here in the men's middleweights. First point scores into the open stance. Inkyodon. He's in red. Vladislav Laren, he's in blue. Back right turn and kick from the Russian. Good counter there from Inkyodon. First body shot, the double on the way through. They're certainly going for it here. One foot off of the mat there from Vladislav Laren. All to play for here. 45 seconds. Inkyodon steps through. Body shot there from Laren. Almost scoring from the Russian. Timing. Precision required. Last 30 seconds now. Back kick attempt there from Inkyodon. And he falls to the mat here. Takes the Gamjon, but that doesn't count as a full point in the golden point round. 
he could on, tries with the push, body shot in response from Laren. If there's no points on the board, it will be who has kicked onto the body protector the most often. There's the body shot from Laren, who has been the most aggressive. This is the first semi-final of the penultimate day. They've shared plenty of kicks. Inkyodon goes for the headshot, body shot from Laren in response. Well, the electronic protector might be called into it here. Inkyodon's going to fall over, and that's going to make the difference here. He couldn't get it done. He falls over, and now, by virtue of the pressure from Laren, it is indeed the win for the world number one. Well, he had to work for it. Inkyodon absolutely devastated there, but the Russian, well, he lives to fight another day. Whoever makes it into the final, well, they know there's not a lot of gas left in the tyres there from Laren. He had to work so, so hard for that in every single round. But getting it done by Golden Point into the final. Inkyodon, home favourite, takes the bronze. Did he fall or was he pushed? The push kick makes the difference for Laren. Into the final. But who's going to join him as we get the confirmation there? Well, 8-7.